This is question number 6. The question says the degrees of freedom for a diatomic gas is neglect vibrational modes. The four options are 4, 2, 5 and 3. Dear students, for a diatomic gas, there are three translational degrees of freedom. Also, along with these three translational degrees of freedom, there are two rotational degrees of freedom along the axis as shown in the figure. So, there are two rotational degrees of freedom as well. So, the total number of degrees of freedom will be 3 plus 2 that is 5. These are the net degrees of freedom except the vibrational mode. And hence, for this question, the correct answer is as per the options, option number C. Now, let us move to the next question. This is question number 7. Question 7 says, which of the following forces the talk about the origin is 0 if the force applied at R vector is equal to 8 I cap meters. The four options are 16 I cap Newton, 16 J cap Newton, 8 K cap Newton or 8 I cap plus 16 J cap Newton. Dear students, the torque for a force is given as R vector cross F vector and the torque will be 0 if the R vector is parallel to F vector. As we know the magnitude of R cross F is equal to R F sin theta that is in magnitude. Now, among the given options, the only option that is 16 I cap Newton is parallel to 8 I cap meter as both of them are along I cap direction. And hence for this particular force, the torque will be equal to 0. And hence for this question, the correct answer is option number 1. Now, let us move to the next question. This is question number 8. This question says the mean free path for molecules of a gas is lambda. If diameter of molecules is kept constant and the number density is increased to 2 times of its initial value, the new mean free path will be and the 4 options are lambda, lambda by 2, 4 lambda or lambda by 4. Now, dear students, the mean free path has a formula that it is equal to 1 by root 2 pi n d square where n is the number density of the gas particles. Now, it is given that the n becomes 2n. Therefore, as lambda is inversely proportional to n, lambda will become lambda by 2. And hence for this question, the correct answer is option number b. Now, let us move to the next question. This is question number 9. In this question, the energy equivalence of a 4 gram of a substance is, 4 options are 2 into 10 to power 10 joules, 9 into 10 to power 16 joules, 6 into 10 to power 2 joules or 3.6 into 10 to power 14 joules. As per the Einstein's mass energy equivalence relation, we can write down that E is equal to mc square, where c is the speed of light. Now, dear students, mass is given as 4 grams, so that will be 4 into 10 raise to power minus 3 kg, that is in SI units. C will be having a value of 3 into 10 raise to power 8, so 3 into 10 raise to power 8 whole square. And this will give us a value of 3.6 into 10 raise to power 14 joules. And hence, among the given options, the correct option is option number D. Now, let us proceed to the next question. This is question number 10. In this question, a hypothetical screw gauge has a pitch of 0.2 millimeter and 10 divisions on circular scale. The least count of the screw gauges and the four options are 0.1 millimeter, 0.02 millimeter, 0.5 millimeter or 0.06 millimeters. The students for a screw gauge, the least count can be simply written as the pitch of the screw gauge by the number of the divisions on circular scale. Now, in the given question, the pitch is given as 0.2 millimeters while the number of divisions on the circular scale are 10. So, this will be 0.2 by 10 giving us a value of 0.02 millimeters. And hence, for the given question, we can clearly see that the option B is the correct answer. 
Now let us proceed to the next question.